morning guys okay I'm in my hotel room I clearly need a shower <laughs> but I wanted to show you I'm gonna make a green smoothie and show you how easy it is when you're in a hotel like a regular hotel room um, so let me show you the techniques that I've used we used to have a Nutribullet and we had the regular one but this one broke while I was here I mean it's been broken for a while the magic bullet because um, these little things um, that got stuck so that doesn't work anymore so I had to go get a new one and I wanted to explain what type of a blender you can get to take with you to have your smoothie and stuff in the morning so I ended up purchasing again the Nutribullet but this time I got the Nutribullet Max it's awesome you guys it's so exciting how cool it is and um, you can it's very very portable so you can take it with you it comes with some really good containers and what's really nice about the container is that it ha this the Nutribullet Max has a top that you can actually put food in from the top versus the other Nutribullet you had to take off the whole thing take off the blade and then put more food in but this one it's just like a regular blender almost so I suggest you're gonna if you want to get one that's really good for traveling get this one so here it is listed on the Target website this is the one that I purchased but I think this is just a Target only model because when I went to look on Amazon I could only find the Nutribullet RX which I think is a really good substitute it's actually cheaper and more wattage so this is probably the best one for you to go ahead and buy if you are gonna purchase one it has really really good reviews and as you can see it has the same kind of a container as the one that I bought at Target I'll put a link for it so you can order it come right to your house um, and then you can travel with it pretend I'm not in a suite this would work for any hotel room this technique so the things I brought with me for the smoothie I brought um, because they're a little hard to find sometimes I brought dates these are medjool dates but you can get any kind of dates you want I also ended up bringing some carob powder um, and then I went to Whole Foods and got this stuff but you could just bring it with you I got some currants and some walnuts and things like that but for this particular smoothie I'm just doing the green smoothie all you need to do is get the greens and the fruits for it um, and you use you would use your tiny little fridge that's in the hotel room like your normal fridge um, so you would buy like maybe a three pack of romaine you would buy um, maybe some kale or you could get kale in a bag it'd probably be more convenient um, you would also maybe maybe get some berries but you don't really need it for this recipe that would be about all you'd have to get oh and some celery probably this is the smoothie I usually make it's Kimberly Snyder's glowing green smoothie recipe then you would just get um, some lemon and you might even be able to get at the breakfast at your hotel oranges and apples and bananas I got these at my hotel so I didn't have to pay for any of the fruit just the lemon um, and then here's I'm gonna show you what I do with it oh I forgot to mention a couple other things that you should get and bring with you so we have a set of plastic cutting boards this hotel room came with a um, cutting board and stuff because it's got a kitchen but you can easily easily buy and they're, I'm not talking about the, the hard plastic ones. I'm talking about the flexible, like real easy plastic cutting boards. They're super cheap. I'll put a link for some of them, what I'm talking about down below. Then I also bring this knife. You can get these knives at Walmart or Target or anything like that. I'll put a link for a good one down below. As long as it has a cover on it, then you can take it with you in your checked baggage. Bring the cutting board. And you also want to bring a pitcher like this. So this pitcher has a top on it, like any kind of like regular lemonade pitcher. And what's nice about these is that they're so easy to take with you in your baggage because you just pack clothes inside of it and then it doesn't really take up any space. So you bring this with you and then I'll show you how we actually make the smoothie. Okay, so I'm gonna start by blending all these greens. This is one head of romaine and four stalks of kale. The Nutribullet, I just put the uh, blade on. I'm going to put that in here and set it up here so it doesn't turn on by mistake. Lately I've been putting in a couple dates into this smoothie as well because I just really like that sweetness. Um, and I'm going to add some of the greens. And you just do these a little at a time and then you put them into your container when you're done with it. And uh, of course add a little bit of water so it makes so it blends really well. Blend this up, put it in the container and just keep going. Um, one thing is you can use either um, when you go to the store and this is the thing like wherever you travel pretty much there's always a grocery store so you don't really have too much of an excuse to not eat healthy if you can just have some of these things prepared with you and you think ahead so what I've been doing when I have these bags left over from the produce section this is what I use or right now I'm using this um, empty romaine bag but I've been putting 
that leftover produce, like the peels and stems and things, in the freezer so that if you have your housekeeper coming every day, it's easy to just pull that out from the freezer, put it in the trash when you leave, so that way it doesn't smell up your room the whole time. Um, so I'm gonna blend these things and show you the final product. I'm just gonna add some water. This is cool too, it has suction cups on the bottom because this tends to shake a little bit so it makes sure that it holds on to it and it doesn't um, fly all over the place or whatever. You don't have to hold on to the blender when you're blending. Take this off and then I just pour some of this into the container and then I keep going. I add more greens in and just keep going. Then I'm gonna chop up my fruit and I'm gonna blend that then I'm gonna put it all in this container, mix it up, and my smoothie will be done. Okay, I'm gonna chop up my fruit, and also I'm gonna put in a banana too. Okay, I'm gonna blend up this fruit, and then I'll add the banana in a minute. some of this in here. Oops. Now I'm going to do the banana. And that's it. Pour this in here. And then all you got to do is just mix it up and then you've got a huge smoothie. You could of course make less smoothie, but I like to make a ton of smoothie when I do this green smoothie. And that's also why I got the fruit, so I could pile it on top and have something to chew as well. And you could bring any toppings with you that you usually use at home. Some extra fruit, you could bring coconut flakes, you could bring um, nuts, like I could put some walnuts on here, eat it with a spoon. Um, oatmeal, you could put some raw oatmeal in there, super delicious. So this place has glasses, but you could also bring your own um, smoothie container, one of those ones that you can shake up, and you got your smoothie. Super healthy breakfast in the hotel. Mm. This is really, really good. Tastes really, really yummy, especially with the dates. It helps a lot. Just give it a little bit of sweetness. So um, easy way to eat in a hotel. Okay, guys, hope you like this one. Let me know what you think down below by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you guys very soon.